Biden just announced he will be funding over $110 billion for an insane mega project. The infrastructure package signed by President Joe Biden in November 2021 has launched more than 4,000 projects, but even the most shovel-ready projects require time to complete, and the bigger they are, the more likely they are to run late. There are currently many large-scale, ambitious projects being built in America, but it's nothing compared to the ones we'll talk about today. So what are the upcoming mega projects for America? Let's find out in today's video. Hello and welcome to Building the Future. In today's video, we are going to talk about America's biggest upcoming mega projects by 2030. But before we continue, just take a moment to subscribe to our channel, Building the Future, and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos just like this one. Without further ado, let's get started on today's video. Mega projects are not unfamiliar to Americans. In America, there are billion dollar initiatives in almost every sector, including science, aerospace, energy, infrastructure, and the rail, transit, and transportation sectors. The public or its representatives must frequently approve large-scale projects by vote before they can be implemented, and some of these votes can be controversial. The expansion was frequently the driving force behind American megaprojects in the past, with the question, will the initiative sustainably lead to progress that enriches lives, becoming more prevalent, they are now focusing more on sustainable enrichment. Some of the most significant U.S. projects, along with an estimated completion date, are now under development, from a high-speed rail in California to the nation's Austin project in more than 30 years. Let's review the best projects in the United States to keep an eye on in the coming year, including features and construction information. Significant milestones are anticipated to be reached in the upcoming year and beyond for these high-profile and highly substantial construction projects which have value in the billions. On November 3, 2020, Austin voters approved initial investment funds for Project Connect, a transit plan for the city of Austin, Texas. The $7.1 billion megaproject includes a new rail system, a tunnel for downtown traffic, an expanded bus system, and a move to an all-electric fleet. The Austin Transit Partnership, an independent group, will oversee the massive project. The overall investment in the program is anticipated to be funded to a maximum of 50% by federal money. The Capital Metropolitan Transportation Authority claims that the Project Connect system plan would bring many to Austin, including a light rail system that works under the densest section of the city, boosting the speed, on-time performance, dependability, and safety of the entire system. Enhanced bus service and an all-electric fleet will include additional Metro Rapid, Metro Express, and on-demand circulators. 24 new park and rides will provide more links into the more comprehensive transit system. Light rail will also link North and South Austin, offer a direct route to the airport, bridge the river before extending down South Congress, and serve East Austin and Colony Park. Light rail construction for Project Connect was previously projected to cost roughly $5.8 billion, but as design work advanced earlier this year, the price increased to more than $10 billion. According to planners, the total could expand even further based on these trends, who have previously mentioned inflation, real estate expenses, and revisions to program design as causes of that rise. Project Connect specifics are still being worked on, and before the program begins, officials from the area and people of the community will be shown the final draft designs. Before planners continue into their next phase, the CAP Metro Board and City Council will approve the proposed plans, according to District 5 Council Member Ann Kitchen, who also guaranteed the opportunity for further public input before those votes. Officials also stated that Project Connect's train routes would be finished under its present funding scheme without causing new costs to city taxpayers, regardless of any work adjustments. The 30-meter telescope, called TMT, a brand new type of enormous telescope with a diameter of 30 meters, will provide greater clarity for seeing space and unparalleled sensitivity for observing celestial objects. 
On the dormant volcano Mauna Kea in Hawaii, the $2.4 billion 30-meter telescope is being constructed. The vast telescope will be used by TMT Worldwide Observatory, an international nonprofit collaboration of universities from China, Japan, India, Canada, and the U.S. to investigate the origin of the cosmos, the mechanics of the early universe, and dark matter. TIO is responsible for the telescope's planning, building, and maintenance. Once constructed, it will be a massive mirror formed of 492 segments of glass panels with a 655 square meter total collecting area. The 13-meter telescope will be 34,000 square feet and 18 floors tall when it is finished. The telescope's resolution will be 12 times sharper than the Hubble Space Telescope because it is a federal government member. The National Science Foundation is required by American law to perform a new assessment before investing in the project. According to a report from the American Astronomy Community published last year, TMT intended to get $800 million from the U.S. government, or 30% of the program's estimated construction expenditures. 13-meter telescope is a collaboration between the California Institute of Technology, the California State University, and research organizations supported by the governments of China, India, Japan, and Canada. In a report, the American astronomy community recommended that the National Science Foundation support at least one or two of the giant telescopes American universities are planning. In the Northern Hemisphere, TMT would fill the skies. The Southern Hemisphere's view of the cosmos would be provided by the Giant Magellan Telescope Project, erected in Chile. American astronomers made this suggestion in their once-every-ten-year assessment of their priorities and objectives, titled The Pathways to Innovation in Astronomy and Astrophysics for the Coming Years. Regardless of where the telescope is constructed in the globe, American-based astronomers receive a portion of the viewing time when the U.S. government invests in one. The 16-nation European Southern Observatory, which collaborates with Chile and Australia, has already constructed its enormous telescope. In 2027, observers are anticipated to begin their work. California's bullet train finally seems to have the funding and the legal authorization to finish its first section, marking a significant development for the nation's most expensive public infrastructure project. The initial 171-mile route across California's Central Valley, the state's agricultural hub, to population centers in Los Angeles, San Francisco, and San Jose remains a challenge, as does navigating the state's rugged topography and seismic risks. The first section of the train, which will link Bakersfield, Fresno, and Merced, would cost $4.2 billion, state lawmakers decided last month. Additionally, the project might gain more than $2 billion in government money from the Bipartisan Infrastructure Act for Passenger Rail. The train's total cost might reach $105 billion, and the track length would increase to 500 miles if service were extended to the San Francisco Bay Area and Los Angeles. When California voted to approve a $10 billion bond measure to help build it in 2008, the initial cost was around $40 billion. Four years ago, after early management failures jeopardized public support, the state hired Kelly, a seasoned transportation executive, to get things back on track. Priorities included overcoming legal obstacles and acquiring all the land required to construct even the first reasonably flat phase. With new work soon to start on the remaining 52 miles currently funded, 119 miles of concrete, bridge-like viaducts, and other structures on which electric trains may someday travel at over 200 miles per hour are presently being constructed. Significantly, Kelly and his group have also acquired more than 90% of the property required to keep the construction process on schedule. The first train orders may be filled as early as next year. Simmons, which has a passenger train manufacturing facility in Sacramento, and Alstom, which constructs passenger trains at facilities on the East Coast, both have Amtrak contracts and will probably compete for California's business. Although a high-speed connection isn't feasible until the late 2030s, Merced, the northern terminus of the first phase, will connect to an existing regional commuter rail linking Sacramento and the Bay Area. 
The California High Speed Rail Authority predicts that 50 million passengers will use the system annually, including service to San Jose, San Francisco, and Los Angeles, bringing in around $3.4 billion in fare revenue. Every new year brings in brand new, bright construction initiatives that will support the nation's economic growth and provide job prospects. The United States is renowned for having cutting-edge infrastructure and a thriving building sector. Large-scale initiatives that have been going on for a while are getting finished, while new initiatives are just getting started. The massive development projects demonstrate the nation's rapidly expanding construction market. Which mega project in America inspired you the most? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Feel free to share your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel Building the Future and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.